Have you had COVID yet? Are you, are you fearful of getting it? So, um, <laughs> okay. So I wasn't going to actually tell anyone, but I did, I had it a couple weeks ago. Okay. Um, and I've never been fearful of it. Even when I had it, I wasn't fearful. I remember getting the call from, I went and so here's a little story as we, I got home. This was after Budapest. Um, I think it was just from a long day of travel. My body was physically worn out. So I think I likely wouldn't have caught it if I had rested and took, take better care of my body. Mm -hmm. um, but I was in a point of weakness where obviously any virus that enters the body is going to be able to have a little more stronghold and started as what just felt like a cold. Yep. And then I, um, <laughs> one morning was drinking coffee that my sister made and she's an absolute coffee snob, like really <laughs> incredible. And I drank and I was like, you know, this tastes like nothing. Like this doesn't taste like your regular cup of coffee. Oh, wow. And then she was like, uh oh. And so we started doing these weird tests. And so at one point I was eating instant coffee granules on my tongue, just raw, couldn't taste a thing. She tried it, it was almost throwing up in the kitchen sink. And so we realized, okay, there's probably something up. Realized that I couldn't smell things, couldn't smell candles, whatever. So I went and got tested the day later, realized, okay, like I've got it. Um, so we self quarantined, did the whole process. Everything came back really quickly. Um, but what's actually been, so we're kind of, not, I wouldn't say conspiracy theory type family, but we're definitely on the side where we, we look for what other methods are there. And that's like the same with the way we train. It's just because yep. everyone's headed one direction. Why do we have to follow that direction? Sure. And so my mom's very studied, very well researched. And so mm -hmm. she found this, um, it's ivermectin. I'm not entirely sure what it is or what it does, uh, but I know it kills parasites, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. But it's, it's uh, something you can get prescribed. And so we got it and I've been perfectly healthy ever since. So it's been really cool to kind of see that, you know, there's, there's a little more to the story than everything that's happening with COVID. And yeah. you know, I, I do think it's uh, pretty devastating, obviously what's been happening around the world and it makes sense why things have been shut down. But uh, yeah, we, we just figured out, okay, we'll try this and experiment with it. And my body took to it really well. So, nice. Well, it's it's never. nice that you, you got through it well. Uh, I, look, I'm of the opinion that it's kind of almost inevitable for everybody. We're, we're all going to get it at some point, I think. I'm glad the vaccine's here. I, I, I certainly will get the vaccine. Yeah. Is that something you think you would do, take the vaccine? Um, I'm not sure. I I don't want to just because I've already had it. Yeah. Uh, so my thought pattern is kind of like if I've already got it, there's not as much health risk for me. Obviously, I... I think it makes more sense for someone older age that can't fight it. It makes sure. it as well. Um, yeah. It also depends on what happens when the Olympics comes around. And if they say, okay, you have to take the vaccine in order to go, mm. you know, that's kind of the point when we redecide, okay, is this obviously, you know, for that, it makes sense. But yeah, sure. We'll see. I know well, if, if I was to like sign up for it, my, my waiting list, I'm very far in the back of the line anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. could, could be a few months anyway. anyway. Yeah. 